Peru's ex-president was impeached and replaced earlier this month, and the country erupted in protest. It's left roads impassable and airports closed, stranding Americans there, including at least two Omaha natives. 3 News Now's Aaron Hegarty spoke to them via Zoom this afternoon. What was a beautiful vacation to Peru for two friends from Omaha has turned into a stressful struggle to get back home. During the trip, the country's president was impeached, arrested and replaced to the dismay of many of his supporters. Plenty of the protests turning violent, killing at least 20 people. So we just are here um, at the wrong time. Lisa Kinney and Anne Lavelle arrived in Peru just before the president was arrested. The hotel they're staying at in Cusco has been safe. We have kind of struggled with some of our resources here, though. Um, we only packed enough clothing and toiletries and medication. And so um, simple things like contacts are running out of. They were supposed to leave Tuesday, but the airport has been closed. I think it was Monday when things definitely changed. That is when the airport in Cusco had to close because protesters had breached the airport and um, they couldn't secure it. Lisa is a nurse at Nebraska Medical Center. Anne's a nurse, too, from Omaha, but living in Kansas City now. <laughs> They've seen businesses boarded up around where they are, but protests haven't always been violent. They shared this video of a demonstration. Lisa is hoping to be back by Monday for her wife's U.S. citizenship oath ceremony, but it looks like she won't make it. The airport did successfully reopen Friday, but they don't have a scheduled flight until Sunday night. Though the situation is rough, they've heard it's been much worse for some others. And I considered taking a bus, and it was a 21-hour bus ride to Lima, um, but fortunately we didn't because we've heard that some of those buses have been surrounded. There are blockades in the, on the highways, and protesters are surrounding the buses and not letting them out for food or water. Aaron Higarty, 3 News Now. Well, according to several reports, hundreds of tourists from around the world are stranded in Machu Picchu, where Lisa and Anne visited before problems arose. Trains are shut down and some are walking by foot to another town in hopes of boarding a train.